Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Flex Talk. Today we are here with Casey and we're going to talk about some of the do's and don'ts of dating in high school. So Casey, let's start with the don'ts. What should you not do when you're dating? Okay, you should not only get the girl's door when you have an audience. You know, like whether there's people there to see you get her door or not, you should always get her door. Yep. Also, you shouldn't, like, in high school, you shouldn't spend 24-7 with that person, you know? Like, it's high school, you need to make time for other people, too, and, like, you shouldn't be so controlling over them, and, like, you kind of, like, need to let them have their free space, and you have your free space. Mm -hmm. Those are good. Do you have any more? Yeah, I would say kind of um, don't just, like, start dating your close friends in high school just because you know they're around and you want someone to date because then it kind of ruins your friendship and mm -hmm. makes things awkward for everybody else also don't lead people on you know like high school is a time that like you can like kind of like date a few people and see like what you like see the qualities that you like in people but don't sit there leading them on if you really have no interest in them it's just it's really rude yeah that is really rude okay so we've talked about the don'ts what are some do's of dating some things you should make sure to do is be respectful, you know, both ways you should respect them and they should respect you. Also, I think it's good to like date in groups, especially mm -hmm. in high school, you know, like when you're first starting to date, like go on group dates because then it's not as awkward and you can get to know them and you're with your friends so you can see how they are like with other people and how they respond with your friends. Mm -hmm. And um, in any relationship in high school, don't go into it thinking that like, oh, this needs to end in marriage, you know, because in high school you should kind of look for qualities that you like. You know, you should see if you like dating someone that does this or you like when they do this, you know, kind of just like go to learn and like assess it. And then you know what? If you, a few years down the road, if you want to get married, great. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Marry your high school sweetheart. Yes. Yes, that's very All cute support. when that happens. Okay, so Casey, you have a boyfriend right now, so I'm curious, yeah. what are some of the things that he did to really set him apart from all the other guys? He was cute. But on the side of that, he would also, like, he would make more time for me than, like, other people would. You know, if he was super busy later in one day, he'd be like, hey, can I take you to breakfast because I can't do anything later that day. And that just, like, really stuck out to me that most guys would just be like, oh, I, whatever, like, I can't do anything that day. Like, that's fine. But he, like, took the time to, like, squeeze in a nice little breakfast. With Aww. Me. So sweet. Yeah, those are all good, Casey. And I would just like to add one thing. Um, if you look around in high school and don't really see anyone that you, you're interested in and nobody really are up to your standards, then that's okay to just not date them because you shouldn't feel forced into it just because that's what everybody else is doing. I kind of had to make the decision not to date because I just wasn't really interested in anyone at my school. And that's okay. And you can still have fun and high school can still be a fun time. But just remember that when you're trying to make that decision. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure to use the discussion questions down below. Talk about, about it with your group or mentor. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.